Okay, so this is an introduction of how to hook up your ring rope if you're working with a horse that likes to pull back or not load in the trailer. You're going to use a web halter that has hardware that allows this rope to slide through without creating friction. So you don't want to use a rope halter. I highly recommend a, a nylon a nylon head stall or a nylon halter. Don't use leather um, and don't use a rope halter. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ring rope, it's 30 feet long, I'm going to throw it over her body. Just like that, I'm going to take the tail, the tail of my ring rope, reach underneath here, grab my tail, and fish it through here. And bring this all the way through. Whoa, my, whoa, my. All the way through. Oh, yeah, you're going to need this. This ring needs to be right in the middle, just like a cinch, right about there. Bring this through the front legs. This is now going to become your lead rope. It's going to go through the bottom section of your lead to your halter, right through here, just like that. Now, ideally, you want to tie it above their head. Um, this facility doesn't have the best setup, and I don't want to. I might actually go to this post right here. Okay, so now. So this will be really good to watch. When it, I, okay. Grab this. That's just a quick release knot. Out there. Alright, so let's grab this back. Let's just see if she'll pull back for us. Now all I'm going to do is just walk up there. There it is. Now watch how this works. Okay, now I'm going to step around her. She releases the pressure, the rope releases the pressure. Let me get above her and see if she's doing that. The reason I love a ring rope though is just because it just keeps them safe so they can't flip over. If they go down, that's okay, but they, it holds them together so they can't completely lose control. It's a great way to desensitize the ring. So you can just hold her to it. And she don't pull back, she's doing really good right now. Okay, see I just want when I bump her like that, I want to feel that she stops moving. Good. And that's why I like it, because it just if they pull back, see she hit that thing one time and then she went, okay, I'm good. Thank you. Hopefully that's a good video to show you how to prepare them for it. Obviously you want to tie to something that's really sturdy. Don't tie them to panels that will get pulled down, hitching posts that aren't in the ground. Uh, you can sometimes do it on the side of a trailer, but make sure your tie rings are really securely on the side of the trailer. Um, a tree works. Uh, there's several ways to do it. The biggest thing is moving the hips left and right to disengage and move the body. She obviously wants to be on top of her feet, so um, this is a great exercise for them. Just only because it keeps them where they can't pull back and they can't get away. They actually have to stay at the post and put slack in the rope. Okay. 
And Wileen, okay. where can where can we find those lead ropes, Wileen? Okay, so the ring ropes are on my website at extremewileen.com. We have them available. They're 30 feet long. Let us know if we can get you one. We'd love to send one to you. It's the best piece of equipment you can have on your trailer, at your barn. Um, it's a game changer, and it helps horses be safe 